Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add assets, well, toggleable assets on your VRChat avatar, something like this, where you can basically toggle on and off a certain item by just doing a simple gesture with your hands. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. So first what you want to do is you want to get your asset. For this avatar, I'm going to be using a top hat, but it can be anything. It can be a lollipop, uh, whatever you desire. Um, but just make sure you follow every step uh, or everything that I do here, um, because it, it's going to work with every everything, no matter what it is. It's just it matters that you follow what I and follow me throughout this video. So basically, first, what you want to do is you want to take the asset, put it on well, if it's a hand, then put it on a hand. If it's on a head, put it on the head. And make sure you position it how you desire. Make sure it's in the right place. And when you're happy with it, just leave it there. Next, what you want to do is you, you are going to duplicate the model. And then you're going to move it to the hand or a certain hand where you want the item to spawn. So basically duplicate the one on your head and then place that duplicate on the hand. For example, as you can see, I'm placing on my right hand. And now just make sure to position it how you want it to look like in your hand. Now, it can look you can position it however you want to. Um, it's not really correct here how I did it, but it'll still work as you're going to see. But just make sure that you position it right, uh, how you want it, and it can be anywhere, either in your left or right hand. After you position the model, make sure you hide it. And for, for that set, you're pretty much done. Now go to your main avatar. Duplicate it. So make sure you make the duplicate. Now, make sure also you hide your main avatar by clicking on it and just simply hiding it. Now go to the duplicate. Now, here we have here we have it. So now you want to you want to go to your animation. You want to go on create. But before we do that, make sure you find where the hat is. So now we're going to go on create. Now you want to name it either toggle on or toggle off. Uh, I'm going to name my I'm going to name my top hat off just so that I know later on which one is on and which one is off. So we're going to save that. Now here what you want to do is you're going to click the record button. then simply you want to find your hat the one that is on your head or a desired item the first one you did make sure you hide it then find the one that is in your the item that is in your hand and make sure you unhide it and that will create our little animation as you see which is basically our first step what we're going to do so now you can click the record again, make sure you stop it, go back to the project, and you want to make sure you delete this right here, because we're not going to be needing that since Unity already has it. Now we're going to make one where you turn it on. So we're going to go animation, create, the name toggle on, or in my case, top hat on. Save it. Now, uh, I advise you to save it uh, uh, where it is by default because it needs to be in this project in order to work. Right, go back on the animation, click uh, record button. Then you wanna find the one in your hand, make sure you hide it and unhide it and do the same for the one on your head. And that will create our second animation. Make sure you stop recording go to the project and delete this because we're not going to be needing that.
Now you can hide your the second avatar we copied and now show your main avatar like this. Now we're going to go to set this up so we can use it as a gesture. So as a desired gesture, uh, I'm pretty sure it works with every avatar the same. You want to go on the right side, find the FX, go to it. Now you want to create a uh, new layer and make sure you name it to the first one you did, either toggle on or toggle off. So make sure you uh, name it something you'll remember. Now this is the important thing that you have to do in order for this to work. You're going to go to the here and make sure that the weight is one. Otherwise it won't work. Now what we're going to do is we have to find the toggle, the top hat on and top hat off that we did. So it's in here. There we go. So you want to drag the you want to drag the top hat on because that's going to be your standard, the basic when you spawn in with your avatar. And then you want to drag the top hat off. Make sure you link, make a transition like this, right click and then make transition and then left click. Click on the arrow, go to the settings, make sure that these buttons are all zero numbers that is. Now, this is the part that we need to find on which gesture do you want your animation to be. So how to find those is pretty simple. You uh, on the left side, you either choose a you either choose a right hand or left hand, depending on which hand you want your animation to be. So for in my case, it's the right hand. Then we're going to go for a smirk and you want to click on the little arrow. And now you have to remember this here. This is important and you have to do it exactly like that on your animation. So you, we want to click on the little arrow, then it's gesture right and this and then five. So now we have to do that for the other one as well. So settings these numbers are zero. You want to click right, but this time we're going to choose a no, this one, no equal, and five again. And that should be done. Now, one thing I forgot to uh, actually say is make sure to toggle this off. Make sure that these are off on both of the arrows in order for animation to work properly. Now you can save and upload your avatar. Wow, that worked. And now, as you can see in the game, when I do the gesture, it'll show the hat top hat. I hope this uh, guide was simple enough for you guys. I try to make it as simple as possible. Uh, if this video helped, make sure to share with other friends. Maybe it helps them as well. And leave a like. And also, if you have any other suggestions on what should I do in the next video, make sure to leave them in the comments. Stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.